Hello, Taurus. This is Renee. Let's see what's going on in love for Taurus for this month. I haven't done the signs readings in a very long time, so I figured um, I've been paying more attention to the collective. So let's get back into the signs. The bottom, I had someone is very in love with you. And we have pain. I feel like, Taurus, you're going through a situation. You could be going through a lot of pain and a lot of heartbreak at the moment. I'm sensing that the person that you're dealing with is very nonchalant and <laughs> carries a lot of stubborn energy. Let's see what we got. I got your back. I feel like this person, this person that you're dealing with, I feel like they kind of keep their distance. But if you need this person, I feel like they will be there for you. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with, they are waiting for a sign from you. They're waiting to feel needed. They're waiting to feel wanted. This person is very sensitive, whether you know it or not. And I feel like the way they come across is very confident and secure. I'm in love with you. Yeah. Um, it's very confident and secure, but underneath, I feel like this person is like a, a child in, in a lot of different ways. We belong together and so alone. And I feel like this person, this person carries a lot of feelings for you, even if they're not able to show them. I feel like there's a lot of pain in this person's background. Could even go all the way back to childhood. That this person carries a lot of pain within them. Even though they don't show it. They don't. This is the type of person who doesn't open up. Who keeps things to themselves. Who is not very open as far as communication about feelings, emotions, um, public intimacy, or so forth. And I feel like this person is all about excitement, all about action, right? Um, and they don't really show their emotions. There's a, a, a huge stubbornness to this person that you're dealing with. But I feel like this person is carrying a lot of feelings that they're not showing at the moment. I'm working on myself. You're amazing inside and out. I feel like this person holds a lot of love for you. They think of you very highly. And they want to experience new experiences with you. I feel like this person fantasizes about things they can do, th places they can go. Um, <laughs> this person fantasizes in more ways than one. Because a lot of the energy that I'm getting from this person is very very erotic we'll just leave it at that so I I think Taurus this person in your energy they are holding back they're not telling you everything they're keeping secrets taking off the mask what did I say I, I feel like this person is very fearful of taking off the mask of being vulnerable of showing you their true side because I feel like this person has to put on some kind of persona that makes them feel strong makes them feel protected you know that's nothing but pure ego and I feel like this person has created this mask that they wear Simply for protection. Because there's a lot of things that this person isn't sharing. Divine counterpart. Is this your divine counterpart? And second chance. And I feel like there was an ending with this person. There was an ending in your situation. And this person wants to double back. This person wants to, you to take a, ch a second chance. To give them the chance to show you who they really are. They want to go ahead and drop that mask. But they don't feel secure enough to do it at the moment. And you're amazing inside and out. Come out again. 
good things are just around the corner. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is going to be taking action. This person sees the kind of person that you are. And this, he or she sees you as their one. You know, they see you as someone who they can share their life with. That's very apparent in this reading. And this person wants to come forward. They want to drop that mask, but their insecurities are keeping them at bay. Our sexual chemistry is amazing. If you have slept with this person or if you have been intimate with this person in any way, they found you crazy. <laughs> and they found it crazy amazing. So I know I hurt you. Did this person do something to you in the past that hurt you? I'm sorry I blamed you. I feel like this person, this person may have did something that kind of hurt your feelings. I feel like this person may have even told you that they didn't feel the same way that you did about them. They were really holding back their feelings. And they blamed you for the feelings not coming forward the way that it should. Or the relationship not moving to the next level the way that it should. They put the blame on you. Crazy. Okay. I'm scared to let you get close. <sighs> Definitely. That goes back to the vulnerability of this person. This person is very, very scared and very fearful of feeling vulnerable in a situation. Like I said, I feel like it goes all the way back to childhood with this person because they may not have been shown love or maybe they weren't able to show their emotions in a way that made them feel like they were safe to do it. I, I feel like there's a lot of things in this person's past that they're still holding on to that they're not able to let go of. That's the reason why they're having such a hard time dropping this mask and being vulnerable with you. Watching you. But they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. I don't feel like it's in like a stalkerish way. I don't feel like it's, you know, vindictive or anything like that. And I'm in love with you again. That keeps coming out. I, I feel like this person is just head over heels. They don't want to show it. They don't want you to see how they feel or to hear how they feel. But I feel like this person keeps an eye on you. They keep tabs on you because they want to make sure that you're okay. This is a very sweet energy, even though they come across as nonchalant. I feel like this person is very sensitive. And I'm not sure if you have seen their sensitive side or not. If they were able to show it, you have the ability to tame the beast in me. <laughs> I feel like you... You have the ability to tame this person. You have the ability to calm their mood, calm their attitudes. And I feel like this person can get fiery at times. They have a temper, if you will, and they feel like just by being around you or by speaking with you, that you're able to calm them down. You're able to make them feel more secure and more stable. That's really good energy. I just don't want to talk to you right now. They feel like they can't. Like they can't open up to you just yet. They're trying to gain this confidence. They're trying to get a better understanding of where they stand. And they're afraid of rejection. I feel crazy love for you. Definitely. This, this person admires you a lot more than you think. And I feel like because they've been hiding it for so long, 
or because they took so long to come forward in the situation or maybe even they took too long to even approach you or even to make it obvious that there was an attraction I feel like this person all the time that they've been going in the slow motion energy towards you their emotions have been building their emotions have been slowly but surely moving forward and I feel like that's how this person runs you know that that's how they that's how they deal with their emotions they take things really slowly to make sure that they feel right connect with your soul tribe you you could be meeting this person or seeing them at a social level it could be someone that you work with it could be someone in your social group um but it's definitely someone who is around you in some way we have emotional and physical abuse yeah so i definitely feel like there's emotional and physical abuse on this person's level and it could be on your level as well all right you could feel like this person emotionally abused you um if it's physical if it's physical abuse that this person did please run we have I'm sorry I have issues from a past relationship. I, and I exactly, that's exactly what I think that it is. This person has a lot of emotional issues that they're holding on to from the past, from childhood, from past relationships, from, you know, old situations. Please unblock me. Either you blocked this person or they blocked you. And if they blocked you, <laughs> that, that's an indication right there. Now listen, the only time a, especially a man, the only time a man will block you is if they feel so overwhelmed with emotion that they're holding themselves back from contacting you. Or they're holding themselves back from looking at your social media. It it's it's very emotional on that level. It's it's really weird. But if a man has blocked you, you're something special, baby. We have self reflection and your abundance is on the way. So I feel like this month this month is gonna bring a lot of truths, Taurus. You're gonna find out a lot of things. Um, and this could also mean that love is coming in for you. This could also mean that your abundance, your abundance is coming in. This could be money from your career, from your social status, from, you know, what have you. But this is going to be a very interesting month for you. I wasn't ready for this connection. Listening to my higher self and... It was what I wanted at the time. I feel like this person tried to walk away from your situation or tried to block out the situation because they thought that that was what was best for maybe them and for you. Um, because I feel like this person really wasn't ready for a connection with you. This person wasn't ready to have exactly what they prayed for and I feel like that's exactly what it is because this person is head over heels this person is so in love with you but I feel like they haven't even told you yet they haven't even given any, any indication that they're in love with you and I feel like this person is diving deep to listen to the higher self um, because they don't want this connection to end. They don't want to lose sight of the connection completely. That's the reason why they're they're watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. And time to focus on you and your needs. Yeah, exactly. I feel like this person, while they're working on themselves, I feel like they really want you to focus on you and your needs, taking care of yourself. I feel like this person really has your best interest at heart this this is a very sweet energy it really is and 
they have a lot of love. Their cup is overflowing with love. But I feel like they're they're trying to keep a lid on it. They're, they're trying not to let it overflow. They're trying not to let those feelings be overwhelming. Wow. This is what I have for you, Taurus. So I hope this resonates. And until the next time, many blessings to you. Love and light.